In 2012, a clip of Saints defensive coordinator Greg Williams urging his players to injure specific opponents rocked the NFL. This led to widespread changes in locker room speeches, none more apparent than in the Saints organization itself. All right, man, let's huddle up. Let's listen for a sec. Get right here, kneel down. Kneel down to where uh, everybody can hear. Okay. We're about to play the biggest game of the year so far. I shouldn't have to tell you that. All season long, we've taken it one week at a time, and this is no different. We face some very good teams, but no one quite like who's out there waiting for us right now. You know who they are. I won't say their name. They're stacked with superstar players. I won't specify them either. And they're itching to halt your hot streak in any way that they can. So we got to do what we do, which is play football in a very gentlemanly way. We're going to match them tackle for tackle, but nothing more. Hit for hit, but only if they hit first. Tit for tat, not sure what that means, but certainly not targeting anyone in particular. We'll fight fire with fire, but not with actual fire that burns. And show these bastards what we represent. Fair football. Sorry I called them bastards. We have a target on our backs, fellas. We're the most elite team in the game. Every team in the league has a bounty on us, but we don't have a bounty on anyone else. Hey, look, another camera. We don't have a bounty on anyone else. Got it? Good. They want our heads on a stick, and we only want their heads on their shoulders where they belong. Football is a game of violence, no it isn't. And the only the last man standing is going to win, that's an expression. So let's get out there and make a statement, the statement that the Saints are going to play by the rules. Let's crack some heads, but don't crack heads. Now get out there and put forth your best and most honest effort! Yeah! Don't hurt anyone, please, or otherwise do anything that would be misconstrued as me ordering you to concentrate on any particular player or any reason up to including hits that could be interpreted as made with the intent for increased financial incentive and or tilting the competition in our unfair favor. All right! Let's go! Yeah. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Let's crack any gentlemanly football players. Oh, hell. Forgot the no steroids part. <sighs> Dissatisfied with the menacing tone that was still getting through, NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell declared that, starting in 2013, all coaches would pre-tape their speeches for his approval before screening them for players. By 2014, there was no more hyperbolic bluster in football. By 2015, the league had fully integrated hoverboards into the running game. By 2016, league policy was so stringent that even hit songs were banned in stadiums. But safer equipment and ethical coaches were still optional.